Hey guys, Lunar here and welcome back to another Player Unknowns video for Xbox One and today we're going over the patch notes for update number 12. A mostly performance and optimization update with some other things in there as well, but we will be going over all of it. First, if you find the video helpful, hit the like button, I do appreciate it. It feels like the time between these updates is forever, but patch number 12 will hit the servers sometime tomorrow with exact times not given, but we do have a list of all the changes going to be added and here they are. Let's start off then with optimization and stabilization. Partially optimized the vehicle system, the dust effect caused by friction with the ground during driving has especially been optimized and the vehicle system has been improved in part. It doesn't really go into any details on that. I assume that unoptimized dust effects will cause drops in frames per second, so that's a good thing if they've been improved. Fixed a problem with voice chat that caused some crashes and grass objects in Erangel have been optimized and will continue to be optimized going forward. So that is all the optimization and stabilized changes in this patch. To gameplay then, there are five different changes, starting with fixed a serious bug that causes vehicles to flip or get airtime for no reason. This includes the three wheel bike, so that's good. Fix an issue where under certain circumstances, the character would be upside down or seated in strange positions when moving seats while riding in vehicles. So another vehicle change there, nothing too major, but it's still handy to have those. And a third one in regards to vehicles as well, players will receive more damage in a vehicle collision. The heavier the vehicle, the greater the damage inflicted upon the player. Also, players are now more likely to die or be knocked out when colliding with a vehicle running at high speed. So I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. They are messing around with the car meta once again, but hopefully they get to a point where it's just pleasing everyone. But to be honest, I've never had any problems with the cars, even right from the start of the game. The vehicle passengers will receive more damage when the vehicle crashes into an obstacle like a wall or a tree. When crashing into something at high speed on a smaller vehicle, such as a motorcycle, the player will take more damage. So not only are they altering vehicle collisions, they're also changing it if you are a passenger along with the driver to receive different amounts of damage based on your speed and of course what vehicle you're in and the thing that you collide with. They aim to make things more realistic and I hope this does. I'm just hoping that they haven't changed it too much. Fixed issues causing the four scope to be excessively reflective. So those are all the gameplay changes in update number 12. For user interface and user experience, they've fixed six different issues. Fixed an issue causing certain user interface layouts not being properly aligned. Fixed issue of buttons bound to the user interface, so the map and inventory and stuff like that, affecting vehicle operation, and that is one that affects my current gameplay. Fixed issue of equipment icons not showing properly on the HUD. Fixed issues of LTRT scrolling not working in the inventory when using controller preset B. Again, that's another one that's messing up my game as well. Fixed issue of excessive acceleration when the stick is tilted more than a certain angle depending on the R stick acceleration setting. So basically it's saying that aim acceleration is working for one direction more than the other. Fixed issue of team member indicators incorrectly showing on the plane as well. So those are all the user interface and user experience bugs that have been fixed in this update. The final list of bugs is just under other. Removed collision of discarded magazines on the floor after reloading. Fixed a cosmetic bug that occurred when characters wore certain clothes or shoes. And finally fixed issues of fonts breaking up in case of certain languages. However guys, that is not the end of the list of things in this update. We do have one brand new thing added and it's a new crate. It's called the Western Military Crate and it can be earned with BP. And here's a list of all the items you can get from the new Western Military Crate, including their drop rates. The most common items, 20%, are the tank top gray, raglan t-shirt red and white, the polo shirt pink, and the vintage polo shirt as well. For 6.5% drop rates, the military shirt in gray and the military trousers in black. A 3% chance is the long sleeve turtleneck in black. 1.4% the utility belt in brown and the camo tank top in red. For all the things that are less than 1% chance, you can get the military boots in black, the battle belt, vintage gas mask, leather boot cut pants, military jacket in black, the military cap in black, cowboy hat in brown, full leather jacket, cowboy hat in white, and the most rarest of them all with a 0.0064% chance is the military skirt in black. And guys, that is it for this list of changes in update number 12. A whole bunch of bug fixes, a couple of changes to various things, including altering the car meta once again. 
Hopefully it works out though. And they've added an additional bunch of cosmetic items in the form of a new military crate drop, which is called the Western Military Crate. And that is it. At the very end of these patch notes, it does say one final little message. In the coming weeks, you can expect some big news and content drops. So I will keep you guys updated on whatever that might be. Hopefully it's something big. By the way, I will keep you guys updated. Let me know in the comments, guys, then what you like and don't like about this update. Were you hoping for more content rather than bug fixes with the new battle crate and a bunch of different cosmetic items to collect? Let me know all that in the comments below. I will, of course, be back again soon with more videos. So turn on notifications to get vids as soon as they come out, including news updates and guides for shooter games, especially Paranormal's backgrounds. Check out links on the screen for more similar videos to this one. And guys, I will see you all in the next one.